This is Chief Kufre and my millions of fans with white boy suicide in America. Like a Buddhist monk who sets himself on fire before the Buddhist temple. That is white boy suicide. Very dangerous phenomenon, man. Oh, when you know the truth, the truth, ah, the truth. Oh, when you know the truth, the truth shall set us free. White boy suicide. Like a Buddhist monk, he sets himself on a one-way street to suicide, protesting his abandonment. We failed him. He loads his AK-47, being an American boy, out of his frustration that we failed him. 50% of what he does is criminal. Yes, we condemn him. But the other 50% is us, me and you the so-called good people. We failed him. So he loads his AK-47. He loads his AR-15. He loads his duffel bag. He heads to the school compound. He heads to the mall. He heads to the supermarket. He heads to the movie theater. It is not his failure. It is your failure and my failure. If we pass judgment constantly on him, then we don't take a mirror and look at ourselves. We failed him. When you know the truth, the truth, and the truth, so, oh, when you know the truth, the truth shall set us free. He loves his AK-47, he loves his AR-15, he loves his duffel bag, white boy suicide, one way street, because we failed him. We spent a hundred billion to build jails instead of build rehabilitation center. We spent a hundred billion to build prison. The constitution does not tell us to go build hundred billion dollars to build prison. It tells us to build schools. It tells us to life, liberty, fair play. The black boy had been on the streets. We abandoned him long time ago. Can't you understand? The white boy, how did we come to this trespass that a white boy stands with AK-47 in a classroom and say he has nothing to live for in America? It is our failure, not his failure, total failure. 50% of what he does is our failure. When you know the truth, the truth, and the truth, oh, when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. He loads his AK-47. He loads his AR-15. He picks his duffel bag full of ammunition into his school compound. He says he has nothing to live for. When, how did we come to this trespass? We spent a hundred billion building prison. We have more prison police, prison guards, than we have teachers. We have more prisons than we have schools. Even a judge owns a prison instead of owning a school. This is how low we have come. And a white boy stands there in the name of the Constitution of America. He said, I have nothing to live for. And he's ready to die. Don't you see we are the ones wrong? When he rains, so oh, he pours. When he thunders, oh, there is fear. Compassion alone can heal America. Compassion, man. Compassion. The black lady there in the school showed that white boy compassion, man. All what he needed was some compassion. Compassion from the government to the people, from the people to the government, from neighbor to neighbor, and that will heal America. Oh, when you know the truth, the truth, and the truth, oh, when you know the truth, the truth shall set us free. We abandon the constitution, my friend. We abandon the young man, the white boy. We had abandoned the black boys on the street, man. They kill each other and go to jail that we set for them and the prisons we made for them. We abandoned the Hispanic boys. And now that they abandoned the poor white boy, he's not there. 
live his nightmare. He said, I have nothing to live for. Don't he touch your heart? He had nothing to live for. In America, a white boy is weak. 50% yes, he is wrong. Then the other 50, me and you wearing three piece suit. His father is gone in the stock market, driving a Lamborghini. His mother is at work. He's alone, no guidance. So we abandon him in the suburb too. In the inner city, we abandon the black boys. They carry magnum and kill each other. But for the white boy, he does it just like a monk who sets himself a place at the Buddhist temple protesting his abandonment. We left the white boy too. He commits suicide. It's a one-way ticket to hell. You know that. While we spend 100 billion building prisons so that a few can get rich. What about school? What about rehabilitation center for him? Thank <laughs> you.